Kristen, we've got a bunch of different things going on here. What are we making? I see beer and onions and some vegetables. We're making beer battered onion rings. Very nice. <laughs> and we're also gonna make, we're gonna start by making a really nice chipotle dipping sauce. Oh, that sounds that so good. So we've got with. some Washington beer, mm -hmm. no lie over here. And what kind of onions are these? These are Walla Wallas. So we've got some Walla Walla sweet onions, which are gonna fry up Really nice, sweet yeah. flavor to them. We do some mushrooms and some little tiny baby zucchinis. These are so cute. Aren't they? <laughs> little baby zucchinis. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start with the dip. For the we're gonna sauce. start with our dipping okay. sauce. So we have two chipotle chilies in adobo. Two, two of them. Just two single chilies. Not two cans. You and I both have story, <laughs> yes. similar stories of misreading or being misled using cans of chipotles instead of just. The Why? individual chili. <laughs> and they're quite spicy. They are, they're so spicy. They're delicious. They've got the nice smoky flavor. Yeah, so you're just gonna smash it. You're just gonna smash them up. Okay. Does this come next? Oh my gosh, you can really you can already smell it. it. Yeah. <laughs> you can smell the chipotles and you can hear our oil getting hot. Yes, we can. We've got our pan back we're there. good. Okay. So we just kind of smash them up a little and then okay. we're gonna add all of our this? Yep, a cup of okay. mayo. Cup of mayo. And this will just taste so good with that fried crispiness. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna add two tablespoons of ketchup. Okay. Just kind of adds a little bit of sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. I like the way it brightens it up okay. a little more. Everyone has mm -hmm. ketchup in their fridge, right? Yes. They should anyways. And then we're gonna also add the juice of a lime, which okay. just brightens everything and it, do you wanna mix it I and I'll get this ready? continue mixing. So we're just gonna squeeze it in. We want about a tablespoon. This one's pretty juicy, so I'm only gonna oh, yeah. use about half. Okay. I'm gonna add this here. Mm. Oh, I love it. It's fun. Yeah, it's very tangy. We pour into a serving bowl before starting our batter. I'm gonna have you pour the beer. Okay. We need 12 ounces. And that's 12. a local Not beer. Even. 12, okay. Yes, this is. This is Washington, no lie. This one's an IPA called Born and Raised, so. And I. Born and raised in Washington. I'm mixing up our dry ingredients. We've got flour and cornstarch, baking soda, Salt, paprika, put it all in there, and, and cayenne. And people should know too that the alcohol from the beer is just gonna add flavor, it's not gonna. Yep, all the alcohol cooks out when, you, when we fry it and just give it a flavor. We add in one egg, 12 ounces of beer, then stir to combine. Oh, that's done. Good. Okay. And then all we need to do to get our onions ready is just take out the outer layer of our onions. So we drain in. Chop off both ends. She's giving me an onion tutorial, because I'm not good at cutting onions. <laughs> well, and then you just lightly score the first one. You don't want to cut through all of them, because then you don't do have that. rings. I do do that. And then after this point, it's a free-for-all. <laughs> so we're just peeling off that first outside. First layer, okay. We cut into one-third inch rounds, then separate the rings. We're gonna put them in a bag that we have with some flour here. So just flour. Now this is the part your and kids shake could them. help. Right? Yes, this is where they can help. They have fun shaking. Before you go to the fryer. <laughs> we coat the onions in flour, then head to the stove to begin frying. Taking our nice floured onions and dropping them in our beer batter. You just wanna make sure you get all your sides. Mm -hmm. And then we're and just gonna put the hot oil. oil. 375 canola oil, Yes. which by the way, it's from Washington. <laughs> Yay! Yay. <laughs> and you don't want to crowd your pan, so just do as many as you can fit in your pan mm -hmm. at a time. It goes so fast. These are going to be done in about three minutes. Oh, so very fast. Once the sides brown, we flip the rings over. Oh, look, look at, at that, that color. That looks yeah, nice. we can just start turning them over. We continue to fry the rings until golden brown and then transfer to a paper towel to cool. After frying up all of our vegetables, we're ready to taste. All right, Kristen, moment of truth. Here we go. <laughs> this looks good. So we have our Walla Walla sweet onions, and these are our mushrooms. Those are our mushrooms, and here's our little baby little zucchini. zucchini. And our wonderful chipotle dipping sauce, right? Yes. Okay, let's do it. Hey. I like, I like the big ones. These are nice and thin. I should have let you dip first. Sorry. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> Here, I'll wait We're for friends, you. we can double okay. dip, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Mm. oh, that's so good. Mm. Spicy and crunchy. Crunchy. And fried. You, you can double dip, it's okay. Can oh. I double dip? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Mm.